I am Dr. Sridhar Kalyanasandram. Welcome to my channel. Continuing the series uh, for NICU parents, I have been starting to discuss uh, conditions to explain for the parents' uh, sake. In this video, I will be discussing a condition called retinopathy of prematurity. So, if your baby is born less than 32 weeks uh, maturity and is less than 1.5 kilos, it's very likely that your doctor would explain to you that your baby needs the eyes to be looked at by the eye doctor around 4 to 6 weeks of age. The exact timing will range from 4 to 6 weeks depending on when your baby was born. And uh, this screening is for a condition called retinopathy of prematurity or ROP. We call this the ROP screening in short. So the baby has come out premature and all organs are immature including the eyes. The baby is needing treatment uh, after the baby is born to support different organ systems, especially the breathing. Uh, the lungs are immature, so we are needing the ventilation, we are needing the oxygen. Sometimes we may need blood transfusions. Uh, all these increase the risk of the way the blood vessels develop in the eyes modifying. So when a baby is exposed to a high level of oxygen, especially if the baby was born quite immature, the blood vessels stop proliferating for a period of time and then they start proliferating in an abnormal way. This is what the eye doctor is looking by putting drops into the eye, making the pupils wide and looking through a special device inside the eyes. Uh, they are looking at whether the blood vessels are proliferating in the normal way. If they have stopped developing, they keep monitoring uh, to see if there is excessive proliferation happening. We as neonatologists, we try our best to reduce the oxygen dose to the baby, the fluctuation in oxygen levels, the need for transfusions. Everything is important to maintain the baby and to avoid brain damage to the baby and so on. But at the same time, we have to be careful about how we use them. A baby who has infection has a higher risk of uh, eye problems as well. So all these are risks associated with neonatal intensive care. The baby coming out premature is the main reason these factors happen. Because the baby came out early, we have to support the baby. And as part of the supportive mechanisms, these problems also come up. Uh, the eye doctor will be checking the eyes at weekly or two weekly uh, intervals and depending on what they find they decide to either monitor or to treat. And we have two options to treat one is an injection which is uh, given into the eyes it's called intravitreal injection and this is anti vascular endothelial growth factor or anti VEGF which uh, makes the blood vessels stop growing. So if the eyes have blood vessels which are proliferating rapidly, these blood vessels may break. The bleeding may cause the back portion of the eye called the retina to separate off called retinal detachment and this is the main reason we are worried about ROP because the retinal detachment can cause visual loss which can be permanent. Uh, so we try to find out this problem and treat it before it reaches that stage. When we give the injections, it arrests the growth of the blood vessels for a period of time. And you may need to repeat the injections after a few weeks. It lasts for three to four weeks depending on which injection and what dose you have used. You may need treatment in one eye or both or they may need staggered treatment one at different times. And if the baby is too small, the injections are preferred these days uh, as a risk of the next treatment which I will discuss, the laser is uh, higher in the smaller babies and the eyes are small. Laser is basically uh, heat based treatment where the blood vessels which are proliferating are burnt by laser beams. These are fine beams which are focused, they burn small dots in the retina where these blood vessels are seen and because these blood vessels are burnt they uh, don't proliferate after that and the risk of detachment is reduced. Uh, laser is more difficult in the tiny baby so we wait for the baby to be more than 40 weeks at least two and a half, three kilos so you have a wider surface to look and you can focus more. Uh, you are not going to burn in the central part of the eye where there is a risk of vision loss happening as well. When the treatment is done, sometimes there is a peripheral vision loss, but this is uh, not going to influence your uh, functioning much. Most of the babies who are premature and who have ROP may end up with glasses for uh, short-sightedness, uh, which is common. Uh, don't be worried about that at this stage. 
the visual outcome is improving these days as the eye doctors are treating it at an earlier stage than they used to treat it and because of our advances in ventilation the way we oxygenate and everything we are trying to reduce the risk of rop it usually happens significantly only in the babies less than 28 weeks however the 23 to 25 weeks range group for the premature babies have a high risk of uh, rop needing treatment and this is part of the future problems that these babies face that you may have visual defects as a result of that as well so uh, i hope uh, this is useful i've added a couple of slides in the end uh, for you to understand what we're talking about in terms of what the eye doctor is looking at uh, do share this information with anyone you find will be helpful thank you